Hey everybody, Ratwick here. I'm here with a video today about how to put a Jiffy Cat in a Blogger post. When I went searching on embedding a Jiffy Cat in Blogger, I found some stuff but nothing that was dead clear, which is why I'm making this video. I did find the second entry down here, the Giffy Cat Embed Provider Embedly, which is really pretty slick. Uh, it works well. I was just more interested in knowing how to use a little bit of code instead of a provider that did it all for me. Although it does offer share buttons and stuff that are pretty cool. Anyway, this video is about the more plain Jane way of doing it. This is a Jiffy Cat on my Twitter page and if I say view on web I'm taken to the Jiffy Cats page and every Jiffy Cat will have one of these. In the top right corner you see that white Jiffy Cat. If you click on it you will then see this page which has a button for getting embed code. So if you click on this, it shows code for both iframes and JavaScript. The iframe stuff I could not get to work on Blogger, which is interesting because it works fine with YouTube iframes, I mean. But for our purposes, we're going to need the JavaScript. So here I am highlighting it, copying it. And I'm going to, for now, just paste it into this notepad file I have ready. And there it is. You can see all this other scripty stuff. This chunk up above, thankfully, is not going to be used. It's something I found when I was trying to work this out that looked very much like it was going to work. But then it left a long trailing space after my Jiffy Cat in the blog post. And I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. This simpler line uh, is what we're going to use today and it works better and it's smaller so that's great. This line combined with the embed code off that page that we grabbed is what we need to put it in our blog post. So I'm going to highlight both these lines, copy them, and then we're going to paste them into the HTML code in Blogger. Here's the blog post. I intend to put my Jiffy Cat between or below this text and above that text. So if we go to the HTML and we look around, uh, you can find the text uh, where you want to place your Jiffy Cat. And I'm going to replace this align left with a center because normally you're going to want it in the middle. And I like just uh, hitting return after that line to create a spot to paste my stuff in. So those two lines will get pasted in right here. I used control V to do that and control C. If you're a right click and paste kind of person, uh, it works just as well here. I'll do it. I'll delete what's there. Now right click and paste. And it works just the same way. Now when we go back to our Compose page, you won't see anything. You can, you know, we'll save what we've done. It's still not there, but if you go to the preview, it is. And that's nice because sometimes embedded stuff doesn't show until you publish. But there it is. And now just to prove to myself and everyone else that it works for real, I'll save once more just for kicks. Hit publish. Save view blog. And there it is in the real world. Now I'm just quickly going to revert this to draft because I'm not pub publishing it for real on my, on my blog. And that is pretty much that. If you want to, you can try to put that script line into your template if you're going to be doing a lot of this. Uh, for the amount of times I plan to do it, I, I don't see the point, so I just paste both lines. I hope that was helpful to you, and uh, thanks very much for watching.
hey, I'm by no means an expert on this stuff, so if somebody has a better or easier way to do this, please let me know in the comments. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.